I was angry and I sent it out. Woman admits she fabricated a claim about writing an anonymous letter that accused Brett Kavanaugh of sexual assault. By David Choi, November 2nd, 2018, 9.31 p.m. From the Business Insider. Justice Brett Kavanaugh, right, and Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley of Iowa, left, arrives to appear before the Senate Judiciary Committee on Capitol Hill in Washington, September 4th, 2018. Senate Judiciary Committee investigators said that a woman who claimed to be the author of an anonymous sexual assault allegation against Justice Brett Kavanaugh had fabricated the claim. Republican Senator, Grass Senator Grassley of Iowa said his committee had investigated the allegations made by Judge uh, Monroe Layton, a K Kentucky woman who claimed she was the author of an anonymous letter that detailed graphic sexual assault allegations. The Jane Doe in the letter claimed that Kavanaugh and his friends sexually assaulted and raped me in the car, but provided no time frame of the incident and no return address. Investigators were able to find Monroe Layton due to her relatively unique name and determined she was an activist decades older than Judge Kavanaugh. Monroe Layton, who had never met Kavanaugh in person, admitted contrary to her prior claims that she had not been sexually assaulted by Judge Kavanaugh and was not the author of the original Jane Doe letter, Grassley's office said. Grassley urged the FBI and Attorney General to give utmost consideration to the case, but added that Monroe Layton's fabricated allegations should not discount sexual assault claims that were made in good faith. Senate Judiciary Committee investigators included that a woman who claimed to be the author of an anonymous sexual assault allegation against Judge Brest Justice Brett Kavanaugh had fabricated her accusation according to a letter from Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley. In the letter sent to FBI Director Christopher Wray and Attorney General Jeff Sessions, Republican Senator Grassley of Iowa said his committee had investigated the allegations made by Judy Monroe Layton, a woman who had claimed she was the author of an anonymous handwritten letter that detailed the graphic sexual assault allegations. The anonymous undated letter Monroe Layton reference was received by, Sen by Democratic Senator Kamala Harris of California in September and was publicly released with Kavanaugh's testimony on the committee's website on September 26th. The Jane Doe in the letter claimed that Kavanaugh and his friends sexually assaulted and raped me in his car, but provided no time frame of the incident and no return address. Retired Justice Anthony Kennedy Wright ceremonially swears in Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh as President Donald Trump looks on in the East Room of the White House in Washington, October 8th, 2018. Jane Doe will get no media attention, Monroe Layton wrote in an email, according to Grassley's office, but I am deathly afraid of revealing any information about myself or my family. Investigators were able to find Monroe Layton due to her relatively unique name and determined she resided in Kentucky. Kentucky. According to her, their findings, they, re they deduced that she was what they described as a left-wing activist who was decades older than Judge Kavanaugh. After being interviewed by investigators on Thursday, Monroe Layton, who had never met Kavanaugh in person, admitted, contrary to her prior claims, that she had not been sexually assaulted by Judge Kavanaugh and was not the author of the original Jane Doe letter, Grassley's office said. No, no, no. I did that as a way to grab attention, Monroe Layton said to investigators. I am not Jane Doe, but I did read Jane Doe's letter. I read the transcript of the call to your committee. I saw it online. It was news. Monroe Layton, who said she called Congress multiple times to oppose Kavanaugh's nomination to the Supreme Court, also admitted she just wanted to get attention and that her actions were just a ploy. I was angry, and I sent it out. Monroe Layton said of her a sexual assault allegation. FBI Director Christopher Wray. Grassley urged the FBI Director and Attorney General to give the case, his utmost consideration, but added that Monroe Layton's fabricated allegations should not discount sexual assault claims that were made in good faith. The committee is grateful to citizens who come forward with relative, relevant information in good faith, even if they are not 100% sure about what they know, Grassley said. But when individuals intentionally mislead the committee, they divert committee resources during time-sensitive investigations and materially impede our work. Such acts are not only unfair, they are potentially illegal, Grassley added. It is illegal to make materially false, fictitious, or fraudulent statements to congressional investigators. The accusation from the anonymous letter was one of many that were leveled against Kavanaugh, who would eventually replace Justice Anthony Kennedy on the Supreme Court. 
Numerous people came forward with accounts of their past experiences with Kavanaugh, which ranged from sexual misconduct to habitual drinking. Read the Senate Judiciary Committee's full letter here.